coming up on From Glory to Glory. As you arise from this place, there is a new anointing that is coming upon your shield. The spirit of fear is leaving you. God has never given us the spirit of fear, but he has, he has given us the spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. May the anointing, the fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon the shield of your own faith. May you be able to walk by faith. As I look in the mirror, the glory of the Lord, I am changed to His likeness, from glory to glory, from power to power, from strength to strength, I will never be the same. In our lives, whenever we walk in the anointing, particularly the anointing of kings, it is that we are going to receive boldness and the spirit of fear will leave us. Because one of the things that the anointing will do, it is to destroy the spirit of fear and the anointing will give us boldness. Amen. There is absolutely nothing you can do in this life. Absolutely nothing great that you can attain if you are going to be controlled by the spirit of fear. Fear will always cripple your faith. Fear will always tell you that whatever it is that you desire in your heart, you can never be able to attain it. Amen? Because fear is the opposite of faith. If you don't believe, you are afraid. Particularly that whatever it is that you think uh, is supposed or you are supposed to believe that it is going to take place in your life will not happen. If, if you are negative about it, you are operating under the spirit of fear. When God tells you that you are the head and not the tail, when God tells you that you are more than a conqueror, when God tells you that you are blessed and it is difficult to believe in that, it simply means fear has taken control in your life. It is normally said whenever people define fear, you know, be, be looking at the word fear as an acronym, they say fear is false evidence appearing real. In other words, when, when, when the devil is showing you the, the facts around you when he's showing you that this is how much you are earning because that's evidence enough. It's evidence enough that if you earn this much, you can't afford one, two, and three. So whenever the enemy is busy preaching to you to say, forget about driving a car. You know how much you earn. Forget about staying in a big house. You know how much you earn. Forget about having a good husband. <laughs> Have you looked at yourself on that mirror? <laughs> it can happen that the enemy can preach to you and his voice can be louder telling you that you are not good enough. And it can be easy as a child of God to believe, as a matter of fact, in many Christians' life, lives, the voice of the enemy is much more prominent than the voice of God. Many Christians are much more aware of what Satan is saying more than what God is saying to them. That's why we doubt. That's why we are double-minded. That's why we fear. Amen. God wants us to have boldness, Bazalwan. Because, let me tell you this, everything which comes from God, whatever dream that God is going to put in your heart, Whatever vision that God is going to put in your heart, it will, it will always be scary. It will be bigger than your salary. It will be bigger than your education. It will be bigger than your family background. 
It will be bigger than your abilities, your gifts, and your talents. That's why it has to be scary when you look at the things that God has put in your heart. They have got to be scary because it is not going to be by power nor by might, but it is going to be by His Spirit. So yes, your, your, your business vision that God will impart in your heart will always be bigger than you. It will be bigger than your capabilities. It will be bigger than your wisdom. You, you will have to wonder, how am I going to be able to do this kind of thing? Amen. And that's when you and I are supposed to depend more on God. That's why you and I are supposed to depend more on his word, what he has promised us. Because the devil will work tirelessly to make sure that we are dominated by fear. Let me tell you this. If you, if, you, if you are dominated by fear as a believer, you are going to live the most miserable life because even your countenance will show that you are... <laughs> you know, I've, 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 I've seen people who are almost apologetic in life in general. Whatever, whatever they attempt to do, even when they interact with other people, you are apologetic. You know, you, you show that you are not sure with what you are saying. You are almost expecting negative results. You are almost expecting that, well, I'm just trying. Uh, they, they, they might actually not hear or listen to me. They might reject me. Uh, it, it's almost like even before you walk into that boardroom in that meeting, you don't have that sense of winning in your heart. Because all throughout the night, the devil has been saying to you, Forget about it. It's not going to happen. You are not going to get that passary. You might as well brace yourself to just stay a luxury and not be educated for the rest of your life because you are not going to get that passary. And you can believe it. And you can, you can show even when you, there are people who lack confidence because of fear. There are people and and. I know there are different kinds of, of fears and there's phobia of this and phobia of that. But, but there is that fear generally that dominates the way that people believe in themselves and even in the word of God. But when the anointing comes upon your life and you walk and you operate in the anointing, let me tell you, it will destroy not just fear but the spirit of fear. Because sometimes we can be so fearful in such a way that the spirit of fear will begin to dominate your life. Dominate the way that you think. Dominate the way that you do things. Dominate the way that you operate in life. And it becomes a spirit that is suppressing you. In whatever it is that you are attempting to do, there's that spirit of fear is suppressing you. Amen. Even when there's no one who has told you that you are going to fail. Somehow this spirit... Is just operational in your life. Somehow this spirit of fear is just dictating terms to you that you know what? You are nothing. Just forget about it. But God says when I'm bringing my anointing upon your life, you are going to cease to be a fearful person and you are going to begin to have boldness in whatever it is that you do. If you are not bold in life, let me tell you, people are going to walk all over you People are going to shut you down. People are just going to... Uh... So God wants us to be bold. God wants us to step out in boldness and be able to trust and believe God that you know what? Whatever it is that God has promised me is going to happen. Amen. Let's, let's listen to what the scripture says. Isaiah 21 verse 5. Prepare the table. Set a watchman in the tower. Eat and drink. Arise. You princes, anoint the shield. So as part of preparation to whatever it is that God wants you to do, one of the key things that he is going to do, he is going to do what? He is going to anoint your shield. He is going to anoint your shield. What is the shield all about? I am not even going to try and explain it in, in a different way, but let us just allow the scripture to interpret scripture. Ephesians 6 verse 16 says, Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So our shield is the shield of faith. 
And that is exactly what God wants to anoint because he knows that when he tells you to do something, more than anything else, what you are going to need is your faith. Let me tell you something. You can have the money to do something, but if you don't have faith, you are going to fail. I have seen businesses failing with people who have money because you need to believe in this thing. You need to believe that whenever the enemy attacks you, attacks the business, you are going to press on because your business is not going to always be on top of the game. Your career is not always going to be on top of the game. Your family, your marriage is not always going to be on top of the game. That's why you need the shield of faith. So God here says, I will anoint your shield. I will anoint your shield because it is your shield of faith. Amen. And then the Bible says, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So what are the fiery darts of the wicked one? The fiery darts of the wicked ones are the, are the, are the accusations, the, the, the negative things that the enemy is saying. Not just even the devil himself, even people. Because Satan will always use people to whisper things in your ears. People can tell you, you are not going to make it. People can tell you, you are not educated enough. People can tell you that, you know what, this thing of yours will never work. And that can be the fiery dart that the enemy is throwing at you. And he is hoping that you are going to entertain it and own it as your own thoughts, as your own words, so that you can be gripped with this spirit of fear. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. But God says, I will anoint your shield. And all of a sudden, you'll be a person who knows how to walk by faith, who knows how to operate with faith and become so bold in such a way that even when the devil is so loud in your life, you are going to refuse to listen to him. But you are going to rise up and be bold and confront whatever it is that is facing you. Amen. How many of you know that when your boss on Friday has said to you, on Monday, I need to speak to you. And he has that serious face. And you are saying, can you maybe give me a clue about what are we going to talk about? And he says, no. Let, let, let's just talk on Monday. First thing, Monday morning when you get to work, just come through to my office. I'll be waiting for you. The whole weekend. The whole weekend, you'll be wondering, am I fired? How many of you watch Isbaya? Did you see Upegumuzi when he was going to see Usengwayo? He, he was saying all sorts of things. And he he, he just fixed himself. He was wearing you know, in a way that he, I've never seen him like that ever since I've started watching it. I've never seen him like that. He was proper because he was expecting the worst news. Little did he know that when he, go, well, he was requested to do something very, and because he was so fearful, he couldn't even say no to Sengwayo's request. As a matter of fact, he saw it as a privilege to do this crazy thing for him. Why? Because fear was at work. Fear was at work. Your boss can ask you to do something crazy, but because fear was, oh, you, 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 you just saying to yourself, what do I choose between being fired and being requested to do this? I might as well do this thing. Because you were expecting to be fired, and you are thinking, this might, be, this might give me a lifeline. <laughs> Amen. But God wants you to walk in boldness, Bazalon Ebam. And under the sound of my voice this morning, I am declaring upon your life that when you walk out of this place, God will anoint your shield. Once again, you will be able to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. You are going to be able to shut down the voice of the enemy. All of those crazy things that he has been preaching in your head, leaving them in your heart, telling you that you are not going to be able to make it. Let me tell you. Putlang Christian Center presents 
the Temple Builders Conference 2016 DVD collection. All the sermons preached during the conference are now available, including the empowering sessions from the Business Breakfast and the edifying messages from the Pastors and Leaders Workshop. TBC 2016 featured anointed fathers and sons. This oil, a burning lamb, God, it must continually, even for a generation, oil that this is a time for me now to start building into sons to start pouring into them and making sure they understand the oil making sure they understand commitment they understand faith they understand sacrifice they understand holiness they understand the love of god they understand the work of god when you came here you didn't even know how to hit a note all of a sudden, you can't make it for a rehearsal because, oh, Barcelona, let us not forget our source. Don't forget a place where you, you drew your source. For you to be where you are, there was, there was a place where you, don't forget that place. There is definitely a clear difference between running a formal and an informal business. And it's not to say that informal businesses don't have their place in the economy. I believe that they do. But I do not believe that you can stay running an informal business forever. The way that we are going to do things here, what we see, what we want to accomplish, in, in, it might be in different forms, the way I articulate it, but it has to be clear that everyone who listens, when I go and sit under Ubaba, I need to catch because in his light I need to see light don't even credit to yourself because it may not be anything a right or inside we are such transitions lalen ye ni donki e ya yenzile ukuthi uthe sakhibele phesi kwa wavela wa choose let her let donki now elijah ukuthi umlilo wehlile hayi ukuthi khona into engcono ukuhlula abanye abaphula bakhona bayi 7000 engi bafihlile abanga ntube ngathi mabafike esontweni we take their pictures we have a before and the after. So that Mokalu Saganipa will show you your, your, your after. Uguti before you figure like something, before you met to pass them Zipa Bunjan. Today is over and not to mourn. Mokalu Saganipa. But so was Kurmane Limi. So when I got a sack for the Langa Lendau. So I'm undermined over and at Tabanya Bangon. He's no longer good to put Abel Babawako. Then we take out the picture, we display it there. With, this is you before Figala. What's the name of 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 the on the third day we are going to build 10 churches 100 churches we are going to be preaching on the streets we are going to be going all over africa tell that fox building through sons that is the mandate and these seven DVDs will equip you to do so. Special offers are available. TBC 2016 was more than an experience. It was an encounter. So get your copies now. That's why Nasim Seben Zini, you are always offended every day because you think you are supposed to be loved by everyone. Everybody is supposed to buy you flowers, make you coffee in the morning, ask you every day, are you sure you don't want promotion today? Are you sure you don't want salary increase? When you are a, a boss or a manager, you expect everyone to just take instructions with no complaint and do them smoothly with no resistance whatsoever. You expect them to give you an award, the manager of the month or the manager of the year. You are expecting that you are this great person. Ha! There are people who are looking at you and in their heart, they are bewitching you even before they went to the Sangoma. 
The words of their mouths are witchcraft. They wish that you are dead already. Don't be too sure of yourself. No matter how cute you can be, you can be the most educated person. You can even be a Christian who always prays when you come to work. But people can be disgusted. There are people who don't sleep at night. They, they are thinking, how, how can I bring down this one? They are, they are looking at you, how <laughs> you, are, you, 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 you are married to a good husband or a good wife. Your family seem to be, make, even in your own family, when they are looking at you, they are saying, why, why him? Why her? And they will do whatever it takes to bring instability. So if you are a carnal believer who does not depend on God, all these things can penetrate your life. Because you, you are just ignorant. You are choosing not to take care of your spiritual life. Let me tell you, the devil will always be attempting Attempt. He, will never, he will never give up until you go to the grave. He will always be attempting. As you jump into your car, someone wishes that you have an accident on the road. You can be the great person at work. You love everyone. You make sure that, but there is that someone who is just saying, things is better than all of us. There are people who can just hate you for the fact that you pila kamnandi ushatile unabantu ana right, but you know ilorons. In your family, you you come go no mitrim. They are just when you are you are you are frustrated. You don't understand, but but why do I get so much animosity animosity here in the family? Why do I just all of a sudden get a, a negative attitude from this one? People are just disgusted. Why you? Some of them will keep it in their hearts. Some of them will talk about it. Some of them will do something about it. And that's where the problem begins. You'll never know. Sometimes there are pictures of you in certain altars. Ha, ha, ha. That t-shirt that you thought was lost, it's lying somewhere on some altar. There are rituals that are, are, are done. That's why you, you cannot play games when you pray. That's why you can, play, you, you can never afford to play games when you pray. You see, sometimes you, you need to pray such prayers that even though there is going to be collateral damage, so be it. Because when someone attempts my life, I cease to play. And I pray. That's why you need to know, you must not just be comfortable with the fact that when you don't consult uh, the altars and all of those things. Sometimes your name can be mentioned in your absence. Hey, that's why when I pray from time to time, I will say to God, wherever my name is mentioned, wrongly on that altar, I superimpose the blood of Jesus Christ. Let, let the blood of Jesus Christ speak on my behalf on that altar. Whenever things are taken from my life unknowingly, my photos representing me and my family and my, and my children, and they are wrongly used to bewitch us, I superimpose the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And on top of it all, walk in the anointing. Because once God has anointed you, there is no witch. There is no witch. Once, once you walk in there, there is no witch. They will try. Hey man, this guy. I've been trying and I've been trying and I can't, I can't seem to get a place. It's by reason of the anointing. But when you show up, even, 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 because of the anointing. Don't, don't take such things for granted. I don't say, I'm not saying be obsessed about them and think about who's bewitching me. Because sometimes then as Christians, we go to extremes. 
That's why Jesus says we must love our enemies. So much as you can know that in your family, uh, they are looking at you funny. But walk in there like an anointed person who has the bulletproof to say you can just shoot at anything. You can attempt. I am aware. To order today's message and other sermons preached at BCC, you can call us, email us, or visit our online store. These messages are available as digital downloads and also as DVDs and CDs. Visit us online at www.putlingcc.org to know more about BCC. You can also log on to our online store for books and the latest messages preached at BCC. These messages are available as digital downloads and also as DVDs and CDs. Our website is easy to navigate and will give you insight into our ministry at a click of a button. Go to www.putlingcc.org today and be blessed.